Hello, my name is Ryan Weatherby with the Office of Assessment. The purpose of the video today is to get you up and running as quickly as possible with using ExamSoft for uh, assigning grades using rubrics and performance assessments. Before I get to the meat of the training, I just want to let you know all contact information for everyone here in the Office of Assessment. So if you have any problems with any part of what I'm going to talk about, or any other uh, assessment needs, please don't hesitate to contact any one of us. So the training objectives for today are to get you to be able to log into ExamSoft, um, have you be able to find and grade a performance assessment. Uh, the assumption for today is that that assessment has been posted for you already, so you've worked with someone in, in the, our office um, on a rubric that you're going to be using um, for a particular performance assessment, and then that assessment has been posted already to the portal for you for your, uh, for your grading. So once you finish inputting the grading in, uh, in the portal, you're gonna transfer your grades to Canvas. So we'll, we'll go over that, as well as how to release some reports to the students um, that give them more detailed breakdown of how they did on that particular assessment. The first step will be to log into the ExamSoft portal the website is examsoft.com slash hassan and the credentials you need to log in will have been emailed to you previously when we set you up in the uh, in the system unfortunately your password is not the same as your password across the rest of the, the campus so um, you can go in and you can change that so that they are consistent but uh, initially they're not going to be so find that email um, and then when you come onto the website, you'll want to make sure you log in as an administrator or faculty. Don't log in as an exam taker because that's for the students to log in. The email address that you'll use is just your Husson email address, and then the password is in the email that was sent to you. If you can't find that email, just hit this lost password button at the bottom, and it will walk you through the steps to reset your password. Once you've successfully logged into the portal, this is the first screen that you'll see. At the top of the screen, you'll see different tabs for different parts of the portal. So there's a questions part where you can store um, exam questions, rubrics part where you can create and store different rubrics. And this is what um, you'll have worked with, um, probably with Cindy for the gen ed classes, um, but it could, have, could be anyone, anyone else in the Office of Assessment to, um, to make a rubric for yourself. It will be stored in here. When you actually get to the point of assigning student work, those assignments are stored in the assessment part of the tab uh, of the portal. If this, if uh, the assignment that you're here to grade has been has, um, been posted for you, you didn't post it yourself. Really, all you have to do is come into the website and go directly to this grade assignments button. That's mostly what you'll do when you're inter interacting with the portal. Um, for grading performance assessments will come right in, hit this button. And when you do, this screen will come up. And on this screen, you'll see a list of the assignments that are available for grading already. So in this case, we only see one called performance, uh, sorry, example performance. And it's posted to the class Scoopology, which is our big class. And you can see in this case that um, the grading progress is at 0%, so no, none of the students have been graded yet. So when you're ready to actually start filling out the rubrics, uh, for the students, you'll hit this grade button on the right hand side of the screen. For every assignment that is posted in the portal, whether you assigned it um, yourself or someone else in the Office of Assessment posted it for you, if you are a grader on that assignment, uh, you'll get this email that says that an assignment has been posted for you to grade and it gives you the date by which you should enter your grading. If for some reason you don't get around to grading by that date, just contact one of us in the Office of Assessment and we can extend that time. But initially when you set it up, you do have to put in some, some uh, due date. You can also find in this email that gets sent to you the actual link to um, the Huston uh, ExamSoft website. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to ExamSoft and show you what this looks like. When you come to the uh, examsoft.com slash Huston, URL, you want to log in again as an administrator faculty. 
and then you'll come to this main screen. And like I said, most of the time you'll come directly to this grade assignments button. So in this case, when I do that, I do see this uh, example performance assignment in Goofology. It's showing that I've um, come in and I've already graded 50% of the students. So I want to continue on until this gets up to 100%. So to do that, I'll hit the grade button. When I do that, I see the list of all the students in the class. Since this is a fake class, they're fake students. So we have fake W, fake X, fake Y, and fake Z. And I have already graded fake W and fake X. You can see the grade that was assigned to them based on how I filled out the rubric. I can go and go ahead and regrade those students if I need to, but let's just go to the next student in the list and I'll hit the grade button for that student. When I do that, the rubric that is associated with assignment comes up onto the screen. So what I have to do to actually assign grades using this rubric is go um, performance indicator by performance indicator, so that's the rows, through the assignment, look at the student's work, and then select which criteria, which scoring criteria, which are the columns, applies to that student work. And the language in these cells shows you the progression from the lowest level, which in this case is emerging, all the way up to advanced. So based on that language, you know which, um, which criteria applies to that student work. In most cases, you'll probably have the students submit their work to Canvas directly. So let's say for, this, for the sake of this training, that's an essay. So the student will have uploaded their essay to Canvas. You can bring Canvas up on one of your monitors or on half your monitor and read the student work there and have ExamSoft open on your other monitor and fill out the rubric. So you can have both of those things open, both those portals open on different screens or different parts of your screen. So as you go through the student work, you address each of these performance ind indicators and select which criteria applies by clicking on that cell. So I'm going to go through, maybe for this particular one, they're only at emerging, this one they're developing, and this one they're advanced. You do want to select something for every row. ExamSoft doesn't like you to leave blank rows. However, what we normally do when we're making a rubric um, is we include another column here called could not score or is not scorable, something along those lines, and it has a value of zero. So that means if the student did not do what you, you asked them to do for that particular performance indicator, you can assign a zero value for that indicator. You also have the ability to add comments to each of your rows by clicking these icons. So you can enter this enter a comment here, save it, and then if you scroll to the very bottom, you have a place to add overall comments for the entire assignment down here. When you're finished entering the rubric for a particular student, you'll want to hit the Save button, and then you can move on to the next student, the next exam taker, by pressing this button. And that's just the next one in, in the list. Or you can scroll to the top and hit this exam taker button. And this will bring you back to the complete list, so you can choose whichever student you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have one more student to grade. I'm not going to do that at this point. Um, but the process is the same for every student. And you'll see that based on how we filled out the rubric, the system has come up with a score for that student. And this is the score that uh, will eventually be um, synced with Canvas Gradebook. And that's what I'm gonna go over next. So I'm gonna flip back to my presentation. Now to find um, the assessment and push the assessment grades, you have to go to the assessment tab, which I briefly showed you, and I'll show you again here in a second. Uh, so you go to the assessment tab in ExamSoft, and then you find the actual name of the assessment. And remember that name, the assessment, is in the email that was sent to you when you were set up as a grader. So you can always go back to that email to determine the name of the, of the uh, assignment. It also shows up when you hit that grade assignments button. So there's a couple different ways you can determine what the name of the assessment was. Once you find that particular assessment in this part of the portal, then you just hit the push grades button. And this establishes the link between Canvas and ExamSoft. And it will prompt you for what part of your, your Canvas gradebook you want these grades to end up in. 
if you don't already have your gradebook set up for this particular assignment, it will give you the option of adding a new column to your gradebook as well. Before you actually push your grades though, you might want to look at the grades in ExamSoft, and I'm going to show you in a second how to do that, but again, that's on in the assessment part of the portal, um, and you have to actually click on the name of the assessment, and you'll have some more options when you do that. And you also have the ability to uh, release results to the students, so you can actually show them how they did, how you scored them on the rubric. It'll give them a copy of the scored rubric, um, as well as any of your comments you made, and that can be released directly to the students. So let's switch back over to ExamSoft, and I can show you how to do that. So we're just going to get rid of this grading tab or um, interface. We're back here to the main interface now. So we want to go to the assessments tab at the top. And you'll see when we do this, a whole directory tree opens up on the left hand side. You'll see much fewer things in this directory tree because you only see what you have access to. I see everything at the university, so that's why mine is so full of things. Um, but you may need to drill down to your particular class folder to find your assessment. That may be necessary. It may not show up right in, the, in this list immediately. But as it turns out, the assignment that I want is in this list that was automatically populated on the right. And you can see that if I scroll over here, the push grades button appears. It's, it's showing up a whole column of push grades. So if I push that, that's when I get the interface that uh, syncs to your Canvas gradebook. If you're not seeing this column called push grades, you can make it appear by hitting this little cog icon and then selecting the column that's called push grades to LMS. And mine's already showing up, so it's not in this list. Um, but anything, you, you can choose what you want to show in this table. And one of the things you need to make show, show have show up is the push grades to LMS. Okay, so that's how you push your grades, but I also wanted to show you how to release reports and how you can look at the student grades. So to do that, you actually have to click on the name in the assessment. So we're gonna go into the actual assessment. And when we do that, we see these other tabs here, which allow us to access information about this particular assessment. So the two things I wanna show you right now are exam taker results. So if I click on that, there's a couple of things I can choose. It's, it's going to score the rubrics first. So this may take a minute depending on uh, how big the rubrics are and how many students you have. Okay, so that's complete. So now we can continue on. So I'll select the exam taker name and so their score and maybe their the number of points as well as their percentage score for now and we're just going to view the report so we see each of the students and we see their grade and as you remember there was one student I hadn't marked yet so that's why we don't see a grade there so that's just a quick way for you to check what grades have been assigned to your students now if you want to release reports to the students you're going to come to the same tab and go down to release exam taker results You can select the students that have already been graded. Again, we only have three that have been graded, so we can't select everyone. We'll go to the next. And this is where it's showing you an example of the kind of a report that's gonna be released to the students. So it shows the whole rubric and how you've scored them on that rubric, as well as any comments that you've made. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you select the options below that are appropriate. You can choose to select more or less information, but. Typically, if you want to want them to see as much information as possible, you, you kind of select everything in this uh, rubric section of the report. And then you can choose to display the score as well and how you want that score displayed. You can even show them the average score for the class. So when you're when you finish filling out all these parts of the um, of the report options, then you would click the post to exam taker portal. Or actually what I recommend you do is just hit send link with email and that will email all the students a direct link to um, their reports. Okay, so that is 
all I wanted to show you um, as far as using ExamSoft for um, scoring using rubrics. If you have any other um, information you need or want about ExamSoft, we do have a couple of resources available to you. We have a Canvas course that you can request to be made part of, and this goes through all the different aspects of the ExamSoft portal from perform, um, performance evaluations, which we talked about a little bit already, as well as the objective um, assessment parts of the portal. And then we also go into more detail about the type of reporting that you can get out in the type um, type of assessment reports that are available as well. We also have a brown bag training series that runs in both the fall and the spring. So in the fall, it tends we have more um, sessions. It runs on a weekly basis. And then in the spring, we, we run it every couple of weeks. Um, so in that brown bag training series, we also go over almost all different aspects of the portal as well as different assessment practices. We are starting to build up video resources on our part of the Husson website, which, and you can see the URL here. So right now we don't have much there, but over time we're gonna be adding more and more content. And as well, you can always request one-on-one -on -one training. Um, to do that, just contact me at the website, or sorry, at the email you see at the bottom of the page, and I'd be happy to set anything up with you that you need. So thank you very much, that's all I had for today.